Hey everyone, Raj Patil here with Palo Alto Networks. Today, I am going to discuss the Log 4J vulnerability and show you some of the best security practices that you can use to prevent such attacks. Let's look at what are some of the common options we have. The first one is about patching. Yes, I do agree that the best is to just patch Log 4J, but as we all know, patching is never immediate. And let's say once you are done patching Log 4J today, tomorrow there will be some other exploit that will get disclosed and you will be going through the same drill for months. What about detection? Detection based solutions will detect the exploit, but again, it's too late in the game. The attackers are already in and they will spread within minutes. What you really need is a protection which is always there and always on. The third available option is segmenting your network. Micro segmentation tools like security groups, ACLs or agent based solutions or even Kubernetes network based policies will help you to reduce your attack surface by let's say blocking certain ports and protocols that are not needed by applications. But in this specific case, say for example in log4j, how would you block an Apache port? You basically can't because you are running that application for a reason and it needs to serve other applications or users. So the only way to detect and block such exploit is to inspect that encrypted layer 7 traffic that's hitting a specific open port. This is where Palo Alto Network's ML powered next gen firewalls combined with cloud delivered security services is your best defense in depth option. To start with, our next gen firewalls like PS series, VM series, and CN series combined with threat prevention security services can automatically block incoming sessions related to log4j using specific threat IDs. The services I'm showing here on this slide like threat prevention, URL filtering, wildfire, DNS, and so on, all these are always on and do not require per app deployment or adjustment. Customers looking for outbound protection can turn on services like advanced URL filtering and DNS security. Both of these services will constantly monitor and block new as well as known and unknown malicious domains, along with all the risky external connections which are required for log4j remote code execution. Thanks for watching. In my next video, I'll show you the real demo in action. So let's get started.